Hey there, folks. Tonight I'm going to talk tough. Because I have to at least try to destroy pernicious illusions when I figure them out. And what I want to talk tonight, talk about tonight is motivation. Sometimes referred to also as willpower. Slightly different things, but they're more or less the same. Motivation is a lot of people's excuse for not doing anything. Because they just say, uh, I'd like to do that, but I don't have the motivation. And my point is, well, then you don't really want to do it. You want to think you want to do it. Uh, and that it's just the, la the lack of this mysterious substance known as motivation that's keeping you from doing it. But motivation is a myth. It's just an excuse. It's a, a placeholder for covering up the fact that you just don't really want to do it that bad. You hide that from yourself. You, you want to be able to say it's, you know, that you, it's not that you don't want it. You want to be able to want whatever the hell you want without it actually having to be, say, real. If wanting to do something meant you had to do it, you'd be a lot more circumspect about throwing your, your desire around. But whether it's finish that novel or the stack of newspapers and magazines next to your uh, coffee table, okay, on your coffee table, it's not this mysterious substance of motivation that you lack. You just don't want it that bad. And I think that even though individual small instances of it seem harmless enough, I think that, writ large, this illusion of motivation uh, can really corrode someone's life. Uh, having this crutch, this cover, uh, allows people to just not pursue their own best interests because, you know, they're waiting for the motivation. So that basically means you're waiting for something that doesn't exist. I mean, when was the last time that there was something that you really didn't want to do but didn't want to admit that you weren't going to do it? Uh, and suddenly you became motivated to do it. It doesn't happen that often, does it? I think people would be a lot better off if they were simply honest with themselves. Uh, stop beating themselves up for doing things, or for, for rather, for not doing things, especially, uh, that they'd be better off simply saying, okay, it's not going to happen. I'm not going to suddenly get the motivation. I mean, if you really wanted to do something, you'd look for ways to get the motivation. And then you get into the meta-emotional thing, like you want to want something. Uh, because that's all motivation is, if, it, if it's anything. The desire to do something. So, if you want to do the thing, uh, wanting to want it more is kind of the same thing as just wanting it enough to actually fucking do it. But the thing is, you don't want to do it. You want to think that you'll do it. You want to uh, imagine that there's a circumstance in which you'll do it, and you're just, just waiting for it. But you're not going to do it. I know this is harsh, but I'm a big believer 
in the truth setting you free. So I'm not saying these things because I'm some kind of sadistic prick. I honestly think that even though it hurts, even though you'll hate it, uh, even though you might hate me, uh, you know, I can live with that, you're better off without your delusions. Certainly a lot of personal growth in my own life has come when I gave up mine. So to re reiterate, to re it er eight to reiterate, uh, there's no such thing as willpower. There's no such thing as motivation. Don't beat you up for not having beat yourself up for not having willpower. There's no such thing. All there is is desire. And if you want to increase your desire for something, then you kind of already have enough. Oh, uh, guess that's all for me for tonight, folks. I swear I had a lot more to say, but it's been one of those days. Uh, that's all for me for tonight, folks. I will talk to you nice people again tomorrow. Bye-bye. Yeah, close enough.